Well, I knew this was going to happen. So, as of today, I woke up, not even five minutes, you know, not even five minutes to me waking up. I checked my Twitter, and somebody posted that President Trump and the first lady have caught the coronavirus. Now, me personally, I don't wish COVID on anyone, not even my worst enemy. I don't even wish death on anyone, not even my worst enemy, because I look at it like this. There's no coming back from death, for one. No matter how much you can't stand a person, you don't want that conscious on you. And plus, I'm a huge believer in karma. You know, what goes around, goes around, comes back around. You, know, you, wish, de you wish death on someone, it's going to come back tenfold on you. It may not affect you, but it's going to affect somebody close to you. If you wish sickness on someone, you may not get sick, but someone close to you will get sick. You know, I, I'm just a huge believer in karma where I would never wish that on anyone. Like, no matter how much a person really gets on my last nerves, I, I still can't wish that though. But, as far as Trump though, no, I'm not wishing the coronavirus and him getting sick or anything, but I knew this was coming because anytime you see one of his rallies, you know, even if you don't watch his rallies, you know, you pay attention to, uh, you see highlights and stuff on the news, you see highlights on um, Good Morning America, um, shoot, what's the other, um, you see it online, you know, you hear about this stuff all the time, it's like, and you, and you got these CDC people, not knocking them, but, you know, they go around saying, why is he doing a rally where everybody's elbow to elbow, no social distancing, no mask on, it's like you're asking to catch COVID. And you notice, like I say, you notice some um, some of the rallies he went to, some of the uh, conventions he went to. If you've seen it on the news, whatnot, you see, you heard about it online. This man is in full force, no mask on. And right then, at the beginning of the pandemic, and I started seeing that, I was like, it's going to happen. Uh, it, uh, it, it's going to be a matter of time. It's going to be a matter of time. It's going to be a matter of time. That like, bang. It happens, you know. You got no. One, he has no one to blame but himself, though. At, at the end of the day, because you, you know, you can't be going around telling, you know, you can't go around tell people to wear a mask, mandate mask, and all that. Then you're not wearing a mask. You're not showing, you know. Of course, your supporters are going to go on Facebook and all. I mean, just not even Facebook, but social media in general, and be like. I ain't wearing no damn mask. I ain't wearing no mask. I'm going to be all right. I'm going to be okay. I'm going to go to town not wearing a mask. I'm going to go to these stores where they tell us they got to wear a mask and not wear a mask. You know, you you knew that these people are going to follow you and, and be like they're above it. Feel like they're immune to the coronavirus. And, I got, and granted, I know people back last year be like, well, we didn't wear masks last year. We were just fine. Well, the coronavirus wasn't here last year. So, of course, everybody's going to be fine. But at the same time, you know, even last year, would you just roll up on somebody's face and breathe all over them? You know, would you, you know, what if somebody had the flu? Would you still roll up on their face with the flu and all that? I mean, knowing that they have flu? No, because you know what's going to happen? Your ass going to catch the flu. So, I'm trying to turn this channel. I'm going to watch that audience. But I hope, and look, I don't like mass saying either. I'm, I'm over it. I'm over this whole pandemic in general. But until the pandemic is over, you know, you do got to do your part, though. You can't just, you know, be like, oh, I'm done. I'm done. You know, it, it don't work like that. You know, no one here is above the coronavirus. No one here is, immu is immune to catching it. Any one of us can catch it. Now, I'm not going to be one of those people be like, oh, stay inside, stay inside. I get it. You can't stay, we, we all can't be staying inside forever, you know. We got to get out, you know, 
Y'all get out of the house once in a while. Only thing I would tell people, you know, if you must leave the house, if you must go uh, hang out and whatnot, just be careful. Just have, you know, like I said, just be careful. Keep your hands washed. And, you know, have your mask on you at all times, you know, just in case you may need it, you know. Practice social distancing because it's called... It's, so, it's called social distancing, y'all, not social isolation. That don't mean you got to stay at home and isolate yourself from the world. It's not social iso social isolation. You just got to keep your six feet distance. That's the only way we're going to get past this pandemic, you know. It's the only way it's, gonna, it's going to end. You know, if you can't do that, you know, if you, if you must not wear a mask, if you must be within six feet of people, if you must not wash your hands, or if you need to wash your hands anyway because... That should that should be going on for years. Not don't don't just wait till this year to start washing hands. But you you get my point. If you refuse to go through these guidelines, then yes, I advise you to stay home because we're trying to end this pandemic. We're trying to end COVID nineteen, not prolong it. But hopefully, this will be a wake up call for uh for his supporters and for uh people who want to be so stubborn and think they're above everything. You know. It, this is real. This is not a hoax. This coronavirus thing is not a hoax. People have died. Thousands of people in China. Thousands of people in the States. Thousands of people uh, over in Europe have died due to COVID-19. This is real, y'all. And I'm pretty sure some of y'all really need to take this serious. I mean, take it serious. But I hope he does get well, you know. Like I said, you know, I don't want to, you know, I don't want him to die due to COVID-19, you know. But if it happens, he's going to, you know, you know, the go the spirits of Donald Trump will be kicking him, saying, you, your ass should have been wearing a mask the whole time you're going to these conventions and stuff. you having these rallies and stuff. You should be telling people, uh, you should be spreading it out six feet apart, six, you know. So, you know, at the end of the day, he has no one to blame but himself if he dies from it. But at the same time, you know, I don't want to see him die from it. I hope he makes a full recovery. He did post it on Twitter that he's going to be quarantined. Him and, uh, and Melania, the first lady, is going to be quarant quarantined for two weeks. So that's a good thing, you know. You know, make, you know, get their immune system back up. And I hope they do beat us, you know. I, I don't want to see him die. I'm just going to be honest right now. Regardless how I feel about him as a president and whatnot, I, just, I don't want to see one die of a me. Well, I'd rather people die of a sickness than from a gunshot or, you know, stuff like that. But I don't want to see him die, you know, over something that he could have easily avoided, you know. You know, but we'll see what happens moving, for, um, moving forward. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's going to keep us updated the next two weeks or what to expect. So, like I said, you know, I hope this is a huge wake-up call for Modern, modern America, yeah, modern America, you know. You know, for the ones who want to be stubborn. But yeah, get get well soon, President Trump. And uh, first lady, get seriously, get well soon.